folks, and this is Benny once again with the 94th Aero Claims Aviation Consulting Group. Here we are now at the end, the far end of the hangar, and as mentioned, we're going to take a walk around, much like we did with the other aircraft, on our second aircraft, this one being PHMCI. When we say PH, folks, we mean the Dutch registration for Holland. Any aircraft that's commercially operated in Holland has a registry of PH followed by a series of letters. Much like here in the U.S., we have N, N registered for the U.S. In, in Holland, their commercial aircraft are registered PH. Right behind us over there, we're going to show you something really unique, something that we always bring to the viewing public, things that are not usually seen, and it's entirely removed a nose gear from a 767. The gear has been removed off the aircraft behind us here, so let's take a walk and uh, I'll show you the gear, which is really unique. Uh, the entire gear has been removed off the aircraft, and as we approach it, we see this unique stand that has the gear propped up. And coming into view here is a nose gear from the 767. Um, this particular case being a 300 ER, ER meaning extended range. And as we look around, let's take a look at some of the attributes that make up this gear. Obviously, we have the headlights here, two sets of headlights. These are the steering actuators, the tires, and right up here, folks, are the trunnion pivot points. Uh, that is where it gets attached to, to the aircraft. And as we walk around, we see other hardware. And right here, we'll zoom in and hopefully the camera will maintain its focus. It's the Boeing data plate. That is a crucial part of this component, folks. Meaning, this is its first and last name. This is what identifies this as a Boeing part. Engraved within here, and I may not be able to show it to you, but I'll point it out. In here, you'll have a series of numbers, which will annotate the part number for this unit, and the serial number. Now, the serial number is like a specific last name to something. This one has a unique serial number. And as we walk around, we'll get a side view of the tires. And again, the back end. And right here, this little control box um, is a ground control box that the folks on the ground will, will have to actuate and control certain items. In this case, uh, there are a series of lights and switches. And as we go around, folks, we'll leave the nose gear for a bit. And we're coming to view on PHMCI on the right-hand side. And much like you saw with the other aircraft, the same work is being done over here. And it's quite refreshing to see the folks at Flight Saw the way they work, folks. These are truly professionals. Uh, two teams working simultaneously with proper sets of equipment, proper GSC. Everything looks perfect. Um, great safety observation here. But as we walk around, we'll see the work in progress. And we'll come into view, we'll see the second team working on the number one, by the number one engine on the left mount. And pretty much is a mirror image of the other operation. Now right here, folks, coming into view is the required paperwork. Yes, all this in, are the instructions that the mechanics have to follow. And it's being done properly. And as we walk around, we see the crews working in unison. Uh, the noise you hear in the background is river guns blasting away, but we'll have to put up with that. And once again, folks, the same work that's happening on the other aircraft simultaneously is going on this one. And once again, we have the jacks, no different from the other aircraft, all in position. And let's take a walk up to the nose gear. And obviously, the nose gear is removed. What you see there, folks, is a man lift unit that's allowing the uh, mechanic to access the nose gear. Uh, that is not a nose gear of a 767 for those who have never seen one. And here we are back on the right hand side uh, with number two engine coming into view. Massive engine folks, massive size here, massive intake. And right over here on this work table, we'll see some of the components, get you a close look at these uh, springs, these are the door springs, not your average garage size doors I would say, pretty hefty. And this folks is what they known as the landing gear strut door. Uh, this is one of the pieces that helps the gear hide into the fuselage. And as you can see there, the guy is diligently working on getting this thing removed. Now you can appreciate the size of the strut. You can see how long it is as um, the shiny part on the bottom articulates inside and out. And uh, where the gentleman has his hand on, that's the upper trunnion part. So again, massive piece of equipment here. 
and we move on to the tail. And you can clearly see here, so it says Bowen 767 Series 300, and once again, ER, meaning extended range. And see the tail. We're going to take a walk on the ramp later. There's a couple of things I want to show you out there that would be of unique interest. But um, once again, folks, I hope you're enjoying this tour. Um, very informative. Uh, we're trying to bring it to the public as general as possible for everybody to understand. We don't want to speak in too much technical terms. Our viewing audience runs from 8-year-olds to 77-year-olds, folks. And not everybody is in the aviation business. So we take an effort, folks, to make this very simple and very educational. So once again, this is Benny with the 94th Aeroclaims Aviation Consultant Group here in Jacksonville, Florida, overseeing the 767 nose gears.